we made it back. Yes, we did. Driving through Atlanta was no fun. No, it took two hours. That was not fun. You know, we, we usually drive through the night so we can bust through there. Right. We got there at five o'clock. It was beautiful. But it was a stressful drive. Yes, we it was. We did make it back. It's about a 15, 16 hour haul. Yeah. But you know what though? When I look at this right here, it's worth it. Oh yeah. Now I shot fish and I shot fish and I shot fish you did. and I shot fish you because did. there's no limit. Mm -hmm. They're invasive species as we talked about earlier. I went down there to bass fish and bluegill fish. But when I saw these on the nest, look at this. Is that not beautiful? That is That's beautiful. one of the smaller ones. Now that, I've cut these pieces off to make serving type pieces. Now a bigger filet will look something like this. Now I haven't cut the red meat out of that. You've got to cut the red meat out. It has a strong taste to it in any fish, whether it's a stripe or a hybrid, whatever. Right. Cut that red meat out. My mouth is watering because mm -hmm. I'm thinking about what we're about to do. We're going to make a recipe with these tilapia. That's fairly simple to make, but anytime you have a good, firm, white, fleshed fish, oh my goodness, you're talking about something delicious here. Yes. Now, these aren't the farm raised tilapia that everybody talks right. about that's not good for you. This is wild tilapia. I know they're invasive, I don't care. Now, we are on the tail end of some of our sugar cured bacon. Delicious. We ate that today. So good. But we're gonna cut this off and we're gonna make some bacon grease out of it. And I guess we'll just have to eat the bacon, Nikki. Yes, we will, Isn't I can terrible? do that. So I'm gonna turn this on a low heat and we're just gonna go ahead and let that fat just ooze on out. Let that flavor ooze on out. Now this is from our pig that only made it to probably 190 pounds because she was bad. She, she was bit a bad girl. Nikki. On the hand, That's Nikki right. said, We're taking her for her makeover. I still have a scar. So there we Piggy. go. So here's what we're going to do we're going to get our olive oil simmering. I'm excited. Look at this beautiful piece of meat right here. That is. Beautiful piece of tilapia. And, and again, this is the smaller, smaller guys. I shot some huge ones. I should have weighed them. I saw a picture of the state record, the girl holding it up. One of ours looked almost yeah. that big. Who knows? I think you're close to state record. I think I beat the state record. I think you did. And I've never seen anyone shoot so much, so many days. <laughs> I shot, of course, I have to shoot with my teeth. I lost the use of my right arm in a motorcycle accident. We have new viewers all the time when I was 20. Right. I was in the Marine Corps. So I had to figure out ways to do almost everything. So again, here's me shooting a bow here in Florida for these tilapia. I shot so much. <laughs> That my shoulder, my teeth are fine, mm -hmm. but my shoulder is sore. Well, we would, you would go out for eight hours a day and shoot and shoot and shoot. I but took a nap. Look, I took a nap. But look, yes, it's that's beautiful. beautiful. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this tilapia. I'm going to take a little blackened seasoning. Now, do you remember when we made our blackened seasoning? I do. One tablespoon sweet paprika, two and a half tablespoons of salt, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder one teaspoon of cayenne, three quarter teaspoon white pepper, three quarter teaspoon black pepper, one half teaspoon of dried thyme leaves, and one half teaspoon of dried oregano leaves. Got some salt and pepper in my flour. I'm just gonna do a light, just a light coating on here. Wild tilapia. You know, we have quite a few friends wanting fish fries. They saw, I know. they saw how many fish you got. Well, I've got enough for a couple. Now, you know who's been wanting fish fry? Dad has been yes, wanting fish fry. Yes, he is. And Dad deserves one. So very shortly, we're going to be having Dad an all-out southern fish fry. A Kentucky fish fry. Is we're going to be out of control. That's right. Is he getting tilapia or bluegill? He gets whatever he wants. All right. I'm going to go ahead and cut some of these onions up into strips. For a one-armed guy, this is great. When our bacon is almost done, which it is, and we got enough grease there, we're gonna start our onions. All right, we're gonna leave this on low. Go ahead and pull that bacon if you will, Nikki. Perfect. Oh, beautiful. Perfect. Kelly got me this handy fish spatula. That is nice. Isn't that I, like handy, that. I like that. That's perfect. All right, so yeah. we're gonna let that get just golden brown. Now I'll tell you what we're gonna do, Ms. Farmer. Now there's a reason to let that on. We're gonna pop our onions in here. Turn it back up just a little bit in our bake on grease. So everything's coming together nicely. All right, now our fish is beautiful. Oh, that is. Slightly brown. Oops, trying to break them. You can't have that. You know what? I'm going to get I'll use your special one. 
yeah, now let's pop that in the oven. Ready? On a low setting. Let's see where our onions are at. Our onions are looking good. Oh, look at that. Oh, they smell delicious. So now we're going to turn these way down because those are almost where we want them. Now what do we do here, Mrs. Farmer? What we do need, we do? We need garlic. And we're just going to brown this in a little bit of olive oil. I don't mind a bit that we got a little bit of flour in there because that'll be, that'll act as a thickener. Just when I see that my garlic is golden brown, and not burnt, I'm going to deglaze the little white wine. I'm going to come in with a half a cup and we're almost there. Get it for you. Half a cup of white wine. And probably a little over a half a cup of chicken stock. You smell that? It smells There's really something good. something magic. So let's bring the temperature up now. We're gonna reduce this. Notice we're putting some lemon juice in here. This is a beautiful, beautiful, wonderful, thing to do with your fish if you have a good white firm flesh oh, fresh yeah <laughs> firm say fight. that again you said firm a white firm fleshed fish you said it good say it three times faster i'm not going to say okay. it three times i had trouble saying <laughs> it once so we're getting close on the reduction so i'm going to go ahead and fire our burner back up with the onions i'm going to man that for you yeah and now what i'm going to do we can even put a pat of butter in there Ms. Farmer. all right i like butter a lot of people say why do you call her Mrs. Farmer? And why does she call me Mr. Farmer? There's a reason. Because our family, all our family, mom is Mrs. Farmer, dad is Mrs. Farmer. So when we're a group, we're all Mr. Farmer, Makes Mrs. Farmer, Mr. Farmer, Mr. Farmer, Mr. Yeah. Farmer. Mrs. Farmer. Makes so it's it kind of fun. So it's an old family tradition. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no other thought than that. When I call dad, he calls me Mr. Farmer. I call him Mr. Farmer. That's right. It's fun. Now I'm going to drop this spinach in, and Mr. Farmer, I don't want to wilt this too much. Okay, so just turn it a little bit. Just turn it a little bit. I'm going to put a little salt. All right. We don't need too much salt because we've already got bacon in A little that's bit right. of pepper. All right, I would say that's reduced by half. That smells delicious. Now one at a time, I'm going to bring in a piece of butter here. Maybe two at a time. Maybe three at a time. So we have our spinach, which is good for stress. Yeah. When you're really? driving through big cities. You okay, you should eat your spinach. I need to eat a lot of spinach. It's good for your eyes. Really? It's got vitamin C, vitamin K1, which is important. Vitamin A. And look where we're at right here, Mr. Oh, Farmer. wow. Oh, look. That looks look. thickening up. There it is. And then the very end, we're going to put just a little bit of cream in there. All right, now what I need you to do, Mr. Farmer, if you will, okay. is to grab that fish. Oh my, Mrs. Farmer. I'm excited. You go first. I get to go first. This is what you got for us. You were so patient with me, sitting out on that boat all day. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. A little spinach with mine and some onion. That's delicious. White and flaky. Oh, wow. You did yourself. I'm glad we got bags of this. We got bag loads. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, Mrs. Farmer. We should have shot some more. I think you got enough. You shot enough fish. That has wow. that has a wonderful fish taste, just enough. It does. And that in combination with the spinach and the mm. onion mm. and our sauce with our lemon and white wine. That's better than a fancy restaurant. You did good. Yeah, it did yourself. I'm glad we took all that time oh. to shoot all the fish. It was worth it. It was worth the 29 hours. Oh no, actually 50 million hours that we spent you on the You wanna lake. go back? I do, Tomorrow? but let's take a break. <laughs> Well, for do. that drive through Atlanta, I'd do it. I do. Pickle beat. Gotta have a beat. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. What a meal. That's beautiful. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Delicious. We used our own bacon. We did. We used fresh spinach, onions. Everything here is fresh. It's wonderful. The yes, way it, it should is. be. No yes, preservatives, no chemicals. Mm -hmm. Yum, Papa. <laughs> Yum, Papa. I agree. As Sammy would say. That's right. Kids in the sauce. Yes. That'll be yum. Okay. That'll be yum. <laughs> in fact, there he was. Amazingly enough, this is, this is going to blow your mind about a half hour's up. Wow. But that being said, people are saying, where can I find this recipe? 
I'll bet you could go to timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. Look it up. There's 14 gazillion recipes there's on there. Yes. And we are enjoying our Facebook time with some folks out there. We Get are. a lot of new people on. The only rules we have are be kind. That's right. And if you're not, we just hit a little button and make them go away. Ooh, they bleep away. That's right. So we want you to be our Facebook friend, but it's so complicated. It is. How do you do it? You hit like. It's hard. And I like that fish. I like too. I so like Farmer, it. It's all about good times. Good friends. And really good eats, as we'll always. We'll see you next week on Tim Warmer's Country Kitchen. Good, Dig in, Nikki. Good job again. Yum.